Warning, the following video depicts me in a very bad light. I haven't done my hair, I have no makeup on, and my eyebrows haven't even been filled in. With that being said, continue to watch the following video. This has been a public service announcement for Army Wife 101. So, it's morning time and I'm here with my morning Joanna. And I came back because I wanted to talk about this debacle with the Military Watch creating a, a reality show. So, if you follow my blog, that's where I use the same lines all the time, but I promise you it's not on. But if you read my blog, um, I did an article the other day, a blog post, that I had received an email from a casting company, same casting company that ho uh, casted Jersey Shore, Millionaire Matchmaker, some of those shows, that they were seeking wives to do this reality show called Military Wives of San Diego. Now, they didn't add the real Military Wives in there, but, uh, hello, they cast the Jersey Shore. So, of course, you know, like most people, we're all assuming that this is not going to be good. It's going to be a reality show. So, you know, when I first got the email, of course, I ran, because I had been saying for years, like, they should do, like, the real Military Wives of Fort Bragg or something. I admit, I, 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 I've said that, okay? I'm not going to sit here and pretend, like, oh, my God, no. Um, no, I said So, that. but I never thought it would actually happen. I just thought, like, no, nah, they wouldn't do that, you know? So I get the email, whatever, and of course it spreads like wildfire on Twitter, and I'm, I'm sure I'm attributed to some of that. And, you know, it spreads on Facebook and all this stuff. And, you know, a lot of people have the opinion that I figured most people would, which is, uh, it's not a good idea, it's going to make military wives look bad, da-da-da. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, initially I kind of felt that way, like, eh. But I think more of my attitude was like, well, I would never personally be on the show. But... I'm not going to get in a riff because other people are. You know, people, this is how I feel. I've seen a lot of commentary on it about how it's going to make us look bad and the hard work we spouses put into saving our names and not making us look bad. You know, frankly, um, there's shows for all kinds of genres on TV. There's doctor shows that are fiction. There are shows about, I don't know, police officers that are fiction. Um... I'm pretty sure they don't like that sometimes they're represented in a bad light on TV. Like, for instance, when you have shows that depict crooked cops, the reality is there are crooked cops. When you have shows like Grey's Anatomy, which is not really a reality show per se, but it does depict doctors, you know, screwing in the hospitals or doing kind of off-the-wall stuff. And I'm pretty sure doctors are like, gosh, you know, that makes us look bad. You know, so when it comes to the, the Military Watch reality show, I'm like this. It's not me. There's a million other military wives out there. I highly doubt people are just going to come up to me and be like, oh my God, you're so horrible. It's them. You know, I mean, look at, if you watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey, do, I mean, are you really, are we really not smart enough to think that all the wives in New Jersey are like that? I mean, come on, we know that that's that group of wives on TV. I, I, I would never think that, oh, every housewife in New Jersey, because for one, they're probably not all housewives. I would never think that they're all like that. So, I just feel like my opinion is this. I feel like, because I'm not going to say a lot of you, I'm going to watch the show. Oh, <laughs> I'll be there with chips, snacks, and drinks in hand to watch The Real Military Wives of San Diego. Personally, I feel like this. This is just my opinion. I felt like they should have came to a place like Fort Bragg. I don't know much about San Diego. My husband was stationed there in the Marine Corps. I know you have Navy, uh, primarily Navy and like Marines there, and I've heard that there's some Army wives. I just feel like, come to Fort Bragg, you go, you're going to get ratings. Eh, San Diego, because uh, the biggest, from what I thought, the biggest portion of military wives is the Army wives. So, I just felt like that would draw people in, but that's just me. I'm not condoning any, you know, drama. But people, come on, let's watch the show. Okay, if you know you're not screwing no one else, if you know you're not cheating on your husband, if you know that you're not any of those things that you feel like they're going to depict on the real military wives or whatever, or the military wives or who, whatever town or city or state, then you have nothing to worry about. It's entertainment. Matter of fact, Army Wives had the same kind of drama surrounding it when it premiered. Like, oh my God, I'm going to depict this. And you know what? Like someone said, people probably think that all husbands shoot their wives in Fort Bragg and that every wife in Fort Bragg cheats. And I mean, gosh, if you want to talk about having a label, Fort Bragg definitely would have that label based on the Book of Army Wives and, and the show. Although it's not really taped at Fort Bragg, but, you know, they use another base. But in the book, it was based at Fort Bragg. So, 
that's my thoughts on it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna get myself in a, in a whirlwind about it. I don't really care what other people think because I'm not doing any of those things. So share your thoughts below. You know, I had to come back and really talk about this because I really, really debated over it this weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.